Well, hello everybody. This is Read Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Robin Roberts' new pro mod being built. Now, photographs directly to it for the owners. Please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming of the Street Outlaws No Prep Games Race Series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, Robin Roberts is officially building a new pro mod at RJ Race Cars. So, it seems like that's most likely the direction many of the street outlaws are going next season but npk is still gonna happen so we're gonna have npk and a lot of them are building pro mods so that's gonna be very interesting to see them racing in the big picture as i mentioned a lot of times before there are many of them that are going to participate this year at the snowbirds next year at the U.S. Street Nationals, and of course, the big World Series of Pro Mod race. So, they pay a lot of money. I believe the Snowbirds is 50000 to win, the U.S. Street Nationals is 75000 to win, and the World Series of Pro Mod $150,000 to win, so that's a healthy payday. So, Ron Roberts is building a brand new Pro Mod. We still don't know what it is, but he posted some pictures of some that I believe he is considering to build. So it might be, in my opinion, it looks like a Mustang. But again, we haven't seen the front end and we don't know exactly what it's gonna be, but it looks like this yellow Mustang pictured here. And this photo, he posted it on his Facebook page. So it looks pretty close to that yellow Mustang. So let's see what he actually builds, but He's always been Pontiac, he's had several of them, and it would be nice that he builds something like that. Even though if it's, it's a pro mod and it doesn't look like a real car, it might actually continue his brand. So, Ron Roberts has been very successful in MPK, I believe he won three MPK events this season. He had the chance, the best chance, at winning the championship at the last race, but he went red in that first round and pretty much destroyed his chances for winning the no prep kings championship but he's been or he was leading in the points for a long time not only that but he was right up there with sean in the npk point standings and in the no prep elite point standings he was leading by quite a bit of points so that kind of sucked but he won three races he did really good his team was very consistent the car was very consistent and of course very fast so i cannot wait to see what he does in a pro mod i'm sure he will put the same pro line hemi combination with a pro charger on a pro mod even though he came from turbos and turbos on pro mod racing that do very good like mark mickey todd Moyer, etc so he could possibly go turbos because he was a turbo guy for a long, long time. So let's see what happens. It's definitely going to be very interesting.